Today I am sharing some awesome ways to make over all of those Dollar Tree prints and wall decor pieces that just look really cheap and not so great in those plastic gold frames and turn them into something nicer and higher end that you'll actually be proud to display in your home. Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are actually going to be picking out some of our favorite Dollar Tree prints and giving them a complete makeover so that we can create some beautiful decor out of these $1 prints. So a lot of the times I pass on these pictures not really because of the print itself because they do have really cute design options but mostly because the frame is just small or not really going with my style but with just a little bit of our DIY skills we are going to be able to take these wall art pieces and change them from kind of looking more cheap to like nicer pieces that we are actually going to be excited to style with our everyday decor. I'm going to be honest more times than it should happen. Actually whenever I get home the glass is always broken in these things. Like not all the time but I would say like 25% of the time and I know it's from like setting something on top of it or it getting squished in my small trunk space of my SUV or my girls stepping on them or sometimes the frame just pops apart whenever I am pulling off the back or trying to hang this up. So first we are going to just be removing the frames completely and Mod Podge these on a sign. This is such a cool idea. You get like a bigger impact, but putting this on a larger board, if you don't have the perfect size, you could always cut them down to size. They have tons of different styles at the Dollar Tree all the time and for every season, more square or rectangular or tag shaped. And I just like to take a razor knife and score it down the edge and then it will easily just break off and you can clean it up with a pair of scissors. But I do like to leave it a little bit bigger along the edges because it does create like kind of a framed look. I add a bead hanger using some of the beaded garland. You can pick this up anywhere. I find them all the time at Hobby Lobby, but bead hangers are super trendy right now and it instantly uplifts this project to look like a nicer piece. I also love adding in a rope hanger to the top. I do this on a ton of my DIYs, but make sure that you tie the ends in the front. You wouldn't think this at first, but it gives it a beautiful, more bold look, and I think it looks more rustic and higher end. But we are just trying to get those beautiful wall art pieces out of those plastic frames and spice them up a little bit. It really helps. I'm not saying all Dollar Tree frames are bad because we can actually dress up these frames or even like swapping out the wall art itself. This is such a cool idea because maybe the frame doesn't coordinate that great with the picture itself. So like for this one, I chose a lighter one still from Dollar Tree, but it just coordinates better and really makes the white in the wall art pop out. So I think they look really good together. And then once again, adding in a bead hanger to the top makes this look more farmhouse and put together. I added a cute little burlap bow to the corner and this will look so much nicer in my dining area. A super easy Kind of obvious hack that we just don't think about a lot is whenever we do purchase the Dollar Tree wall art is looking for a better frame at Dollar Tree. They actually sell beautiful frames there and sometimes you look out and find like ones that have the really wide frame on it and I think those look the best. Like this gorgeous print that is just too cute for an office or craft room. I just loved this with the leopard print and the vintage phone. It was definitely my style. I would be so excited to put this in a craft room. But the frame was kind of bland and just not really spicing up the print like I wanted it to. So I just picked up this nicer golden white frame. Like I said, it has a thicker frame around it, which I think looks so much nicer. I put it in there. It instantly makes it look like it belongs in there. And you would never guess that this is from Dollar Tree. I 
I also found some really cool shadow box frames. These could be used as floating frames or just putting the entire photo in there. But I cut down two of the Dollar Tree coordinating prints. I thought these were so beautiful. They had smaller words in the center and I traced how big they needed to be, making sure the words weren't going to get trimmed off or anything, but was going to show up in the frame. But cutting them down did cut out most of the pretty greenery, and I just didn't like how plain it was. And you could kind of tell that something was missing. So I took some of Dollar Tree's Rub On Greenery Stems and filled in all of that blank space, and I was just in love with them. This made all of the difference. These look so much nicer in the black frames and then adding in all of that extra greenery and that deeper green color, I just feel like brought it all together and these just look so much better. Another really cool hack to fix up these prints is to build your own frame. I have a lot of farmhouse wood frames and wooden signs, so I don't feel like the Dollar Tree frames always mix so well with the woods in my home. So to create your own frame, you have a few different options. I love finding ways to create a wood frame without using saws or using a real heavy wood for my walls. So I pick up some paint sticks from Walmart. You get this three pack of large paint sticks for around a dollar and you can easily cut them down with a razor knife. Uh, you have to go over it a few times and then they will cleanly break in half. But I take my wall art out of the frame, Mod Podge it on a flat canvas to give the frame something to attach to. Stain the sticks really dark or paint them depending on whatever color that you want and glue them into place. I also love the small little canvas art that Dollar Tree puts out, like this faith sign. It's really, really pretty, but I feel like the faith is kind of uncentered and it just needed a little extra something. I love cutting the canvas off itself, off of the frame. Make sure you cut really close on the outside of the staples, then remove the staples, stain the frame dark or whatever color that you would like, glue it over the top of the faith sign, and it just looks so beautiful. Beaded frames are super trendy right now. I am seeing them in all of my favorite stores. And we can create that same look on a budget. So I picked out one of my favorite Dollar Tree prints. I think it is so beautiful. It has this nice white wood background with eucalyptus leaves, definitely my style. But to make it look like a little bit nicer quality, I'm still gonna be keeping it in its frame. But I am taking these little wooden hair beads from Dollar Tree and cutting them in half with my sheer cutters. Be super careful and set them down into place and then move your fingers out of the way. You can trim these beads in half and then I am gluing them along the entire frame with hot glue. I painted over them with my white chalk paint and I am obsessed. I will definitely be doing this to a lot more of my frames. I think it turned out beautiful and definitely one of my favorites of today's projects. Another cool hack I have to get these prints out of the frame is to turn them into wooden scrolls. If you've watched my channel for very long, you know that I love wooden scrolls. I make them all the time with different wall art pieces. They are so fun and easy to put together and it gives them a larger appearance which makes it look high end and gets rid of the cheap frame. 
So to do this, you have a few different options as well. My favorite is using the paint sticks once again and adding a piece to the top and the bottom. And I added in a rope hanger and I feel like this looks so cute. If you don't have the paint sticks, you can use some of Dollar Tree's decorative yard stakes. The little stake part works perfect for this. They sell wooden rulers that could be cut down or even the tower blocks pieced together. But I love the look of cutting down dowels and gluing them together, adding in a jute twine hanger and a little piece of greenery for extra detail and a bow makes this sign have new life and looks like a beautiful piece. For sale alongside all of those wall art pieces are the little canvases and I feel like some of them are so pretty and go beautiful with our neutral or farmhouse decor. Dollar Tree has really been stepping up their game. They have beautiful options and definitely all colors for all styles and like I showed before how you can remove the canvas from its wood and make it look like a framed piece, you also can upgrade them in other easy ways. I love adding them to stands. I paint one of Dollar Tree's longer wood planks pieces, a coordinating color to the canvas, glue it down in the center, and it looks so much nicer now that it can stand on its own. I also love upgrading these canvases to make them more my style and just giving them a complete makeover while still taking advantage of some of the gorgeous backgrounds that they have. Sometimes the canvas has beautiful edging or patterns, but I don't love the words on the look of the flat canvas. I found this gorgeous buffalo check canvas and I kept one of them the same how it was, but I didn't want to just alike, so I thought it would be really fun to make this over. I thought that I would paint over the text in the circle since it did have a perfect white circle in the center. I just went ahead and covered over that and added in my own words. This little wooden word is from a pack from Hobby Lobby, very inexpensive. Dollar Tree also sells metal words. And then I added in the greenery and a cute little bow. To do another the same way but a different style this is perfect for Christmas I love the wood edging on this one I covered the center again added in an ornament some decals and made a cute rustic sign to display this Christmas season So you can see that adding in 3D pieces makes a huge impact and completely transforms a lot of these signs. If you use your hot glue gun and trace over the images on the canvas, like these glass jars or vases, it adds so much detail and gives it a really cool effect. I love putting the glue over the leaves and adding in a jute bow for the final touch. On this canvas, I even got really creative and sewed a piece of twine through the canvas with a large needle around the jar. I cut out a teeny tiny little tag out of a wooden heart and I feel like it made this too cute. I love adding in the 3D parts, so just a simple bow, tag, greenery, or the hot glue just really makes it pop. If you wanna get all fancy, I have a really cool project for you. I love picking up the pattern prints from Dollar Tree. And on this one, I took a wood circle piece from Hobby Lobby, it was under two bucks. I traced it on the pattern, I cut it out of the print, 
And then I took the wooden circle and frame outside, sprayed it with a metallic hammered spray paint. I glued the paper down on the cardboard, added the circle on top of the missing piece, added in a Dollar Tree mirror and a rope hanger, and this just looks like boho style. I love how it is so cheap, but makes it look like a more expensive piece. You can also create beautiful decor pieces for your kids' rooms. I hate spending a ton of money on my kids' wall art because they play hard in there. Things get shattered and they switch up their styles so much, everyone wants to mix and match what they have. So it's really nice not to spend a lot of money in there, especially while they're really small. And sometimes you can do what I shared before in this video and take some of the Dollar Tree kids' art and swap out the frames or paint it to match their room better. I feel like sometimes the art doesn't match the frame at all, so just getting that coordinating color makes a big difference and upgrades the wall art. But another easy kids room DIY is to pick out some of the fun pattern canvases like this one that has a lot of pink and gold which is perfect for my little girl. And Dollar Tree sells these really cool unicorn wood shapes in the crafter square section and you can just paint the cut out a solid coordinating color, glue it on the pattern, and then making these in a set of two is even better for a bigger impact. I also feel like making these wall art pieces look bigger makes a huge difference. I've added in smaller frames on top of bigger frames and kind of put burlap in between. I love that look, but I picked up this wood palette from Walmart and painted it in the frame the same color, glued it on the front, added in a rope hanger, and I love how it made the art just appear way bigger than it really is. I have used the canvases to cut out words for small ornaments that are the perfect size for your Christmas tree. I have flipped around the word signs to put my own decor in or even just cut them out to make small little frames for a tiered tray. There's a ton of different options. It is always so much fun to take more inexpensive items and make them look higher end with just a little bit of DIYing. These were some really fun, easy, inexpensive projects that will just kind of up your game whenever you are decorating your home. And like I said, just make pieces that you will actually be proud to display in your house or with your other everyday decor. But I think that's all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. Let me know if there's any wall art hacks down below and share with everyone else if you have any cool ideas, anything that I looked over. This is something that I could do all the time. I have a ton more DIY ideas. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know if you want to see another one or what's something else that you would like me to make over from Dollar Tree. But I hope that you will stick around by hitting the subscribe button and saying hi in the comments. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Bye.